today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty for YouTuber that is trying to have a yellow no buy. And today I am going to do a video, before Black Friday last year I did do a wishlist video and I was like, I'm going to do a reaction to that and talk about if I bought some of the products and what do I think about them now and do I still want the products that I didn't buy. I will leave the video up here and I just watched it before I'm recording this and I had a similar makeup look. So maybe this is my wishlist makeup look. But yeah, these are some things that I did want to buy for Black Friday last year and I didn't buy all of them. I did a Black Friday haul. I can leave that down in the description and up here in the corner as well. And I didn't buy everything, but I bought some of the things and now I have had them for a while. So I thought it could be fun to talk about them because I am still on a no buy and I'm going to be on a no buy the whole year and just see how it has changed for me and do I still feel like I missed out or do I don't want these anymore so yeah I think we just hop into this video and I don't know if I want to pick up take up pictures maybe I should do that so first off I'm going to talk about black moon cosmetics and it feels like in every video I do when I talk about things I want I talk about black moon cosmetics I have their orb of light their neutral palette and that is everything I have a brush as well, but I think that is everything I have from Black Moon Cosmetics. And I have been wanting the Urban Myth palette. I haven't bought it, but now I am like, I never going to buy it because I don't feel like I need it. I really do like the layout of it because it is a shimmer and a matte in the same color, but not more than that. I think that I can do this pretty good within my collection either with palettes or with single shadows that I have so I do not feel anymore that I want this palette so that feels actually really really good and then I have always talked about lip products and now my preference when it comes to lip products has actually changed this feels a little bit strange to say now because I'm very wearing a matte liquid lipstick but matte liquid lipsticks isn't the only thing I love anymore when it comes to lips it was when I did record that video then I was all about that matte lip uh, matte lip liquid lipstick life Jesus but now I'm not anymore and actually it feels um, like I don't want them the colors are really good. I always wanted this um, Autumn Trio and I always wanted a deep red. But I have this red that is one of my absolute favorite reds I have. This is Rapture from Lethal. And I don't feel like I need to test out a Black Moon lip anymore. And that feels so, so good. I feel like I have what I need when it comes to matte liquid lipsticks. So that feels good. So two more things that I can check off, take off my forever ever growing wish list. So that feels good. Then I also talked about Lunar Beauty. And I talked about that I wanted the Moon Spell 2. And after I saw more reviews on it, people didn't was like super thrilled. I think they've changed the factory from the Moon Spell 1. I think that was in, what is it even called in English? Czechian? Sh Czech Republic? I, f I think so. In Swedish it, it's, it is Czechian. Czech Republic? Czech Republic. Okay. And now I think that the Moon Spell 2 was made in China. And I didn't, people wasn't so in love with Moon Spell 2. Somewhere, somewhere not. And I I do not want it anymore. I haven't thought about it until I watched the old video. I was going to do this video. So no. 
I don't want the moon spell too anymore. And I don't think it ever came to Beauty Bay. Or I don't know why. If I'm going to be honest, being on Beauty Bay, I have been there maybe five times this year or something like that. So I don't know, maybe it did arrive. I have no idea. And I also wanted a lippy from Lunar Beauty, but it's the same there as with the Black Moon Cosmetics. I do have one liquid lipstick from a Lunar Beauty that I really really love. It's a really nice formula, it holds up really good, it doesn't dry out my lips, but I have enough of liquid lipsticks actually, so no, I don't want that either. Next one was a palette from Nomad, and I think for this Black Friday they are selling this palette, it's going out of stock, and it's the Haunted Europe. I think they are doing half off. They usually do that with some of their palette around Black Friday. I bought the Orient Express the Black Friday before, so 2020, and they usually have 50% off, with, which is really good for me that lives in Europe, because then the price, the total price is going to be kind of what the palette originally cost, but yeah. Maybe I would have bought it if I wasn't on a no-buy, but at the same time, I I think I just have, would have bought it because I did want it at some point in my life. But now, no. Nomad isn't my favorite formula. I don't think it's a bad formula, but it's nothing that I'm like, I want everything. I want everything in that formula because it's so amazing. I think to do... They do really interesting color stories and I think that the layout of their palettes are usually really really good and I think the packaging is really good. Like aesthetically, aesthetic? The palette looks really good but I don't think that I would have used it that much and I don't want it anymore and uh, yeah, we can check that off too. Next one was actually a palette that I bought. It was the Lethal Berlin 89 and I do love Lethal as you may know and I bought this one. I haven't used it more than two times I think. Uh, it has one of their multichromes. I think this was the first palette with a multichrome that they released and I do love this shade and I was so bummed out that I did fell in love with Lethal's multichromes in the end of last year because I do want more of them. I have this one and another one that I bought as a single, but I do want more. So yeah, I haven't used this palette much at all. Maybe I should just pick it out and play with it. I do like how it looks. I don't know though, like the background, maybe it should have looked better in a white background or in a light background. I don't know, but I haven't used this as much as I should. and. With Lethal it is, I always tend to use my singles rather than my palettes from Lethal. I don't know why, because singles isn't something that I think is super fun, except for when it comes to Lethal. But yeah, I really need to use this more and maybe I should do like a multiple looks with this one. I don't know though if this is still in stock, because I think they had 50% off now on like their end of summer sale that they usually have but yeah I don't regret buying this or maybe a little because I did fall in love with multichromes and it annoys the crap out of me that I only have two from lethal but yeah I don't re regret buying this would I buy it again I don't know but I don't regret it then I talked about a blush from Nabla this one truth and if you know me i do love my blushes from nabla so i bought this and i also bought this one this is independence i bought these at the same time uh, i only talked about this but then i was surfing on nabla's website and i bought both of them and i do love these i I think I almost love this more Independence than Truth, but this this is a really nice blush as well. Um, Nabla has always been a favorite 
of mine when it comes to base products and these skin glazing line is some of the best blushes i actually have one on today i have lola on today it looks like this and i think i do have all the blushes in this line oops then i talked about a contour stick this one from isadora and this is a swedish brand and as you see i bought it i have used it i do like it but Sometimes when I use it, it looks great. It looks awesome. I love it. It's looking so so good It's looking so neutral and just just gives an amazing It's just an amazing contour, but sometimes when I use it, it's like I'm Do not know how to use it and it looks shit, but I do like it. I'm not regret a single thing that I bought this but um, I guess it's just me and the only thing I don't get, it's a little brush here. I think this is pretty common on my contour sticks, but no, I, I, I use another brush. But I do like it. I think the color is really good. I have cool beige and um, yeah, I do like it. I also talked about this concealer from Nabla and I recently opened this one a, couple, a month ago, maybe. And this is the Regeneration Uplifting Creamer Concealer, and I do like it. The only thing is, I think it is, I think it is, a, it is a little thick, and it also has this sponge here, which I hate. But I do like how it looks underneath my eyes. It looks good. It doesn't lay in my folds too much. I am though a little bit older. I'm not 21 anymore, and the color is good. And it feels good, it doesn't dry out my under eyes, and it looks good until I wash it off. And it is not like too creamy, it's not too dry. It is good. Uh, it's just, I wish it was a little bit more light. It's kind of thick, and I like more light <laughs> concealers, but I do like it, and it doesn't bother me more than. It's just my preference. It's it would be a little bit more liquidy and yeah, this little sponge thing. And also like the first time I was using this one, I had to screw on the bottom forever before it came out any product. Yeah, it looks so disgusting when it is sponges like this. Does anybody like this? But yeah, I do like it. Is it my f absolute favorite concealer of all times? No. Is it uh, maybe the second best of all times? Maybe. Nana also talked about the foundation stick from Bare Minerals that I really wanted. I didn't buy it. Um, I have bought another foundation that I really wanted and I have seen a lot about and it's the Fresh Nude Concealer Foundation from Body Shop. I have this on today. I do like it. Uh, I just need to learn how much I need and how it works best for me but I do really like this one and uh, I think I've talked about this in some wish list of mine but yeah the stick foundation from Bare Minerals I haven't bought it I want like stick foundations to be a thing for me but I actually don't think it is but no I I don't want to buy it or maybe I Maybe I will buy it someday when I need a new foundation. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I haven't bought bought it and I don't know if I will. And the last thing I talked about was that I was looking forward to buy Melt's um, Black Friday release. And the Black Friday release that did came was this palette. I, I don't remember the name and I was like I'm not going to buy that it was so expensive and uh, I just thought it was too big but then I heard a lot of people really liking it and especially the purples were really good and I was like maybe and I have been on Beauty Bay after that like in December and I was like maybe I should buy it I never did and now 
I don't miss it. I have some melt palettes, five? And I don't use them that much, and I don't think that I would have used that either. I think I would have think it was too big. And it wasn't like, because I have the... Vida and Muerte palette. I can't remember the name of that collection, but you know with the skulls. Um, and that was really cool and then I bought the Beetlejuice one and I do love Beetlejuice so that was really cool as well and that they released that Mariposa and I was like it's not like the quirky dark uh, fun collection that I wished Melt would come out with at Halloween and Black Friday, but it is what it is. So I didn't buy it and I do not regret not buying it. So yeah, I guess that it, it went pretty good. Maybe I'm cured from buying things that I want now, 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 now and don't use that much because yeah, like the Berlin 89, I haven't used it much at all. Maybe I should just put it here and use it. The next time I'm doing makeup, maybe I should just do that. But yeah, I do really hope that you like this video, and I'm going to do a wish list video soon with things that I want, and also talk about what I think I would, what I think I would buy when my no buy is over the first of January. I know, like at least one thing that I really really want but that's coming in another video in my wishlist video so yeah I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope that I'll see you in the next one bye